Hey everyone! So as you can probably see, I'm at a different angle today and the reason that is is just because I'm not a professional video maker so I keep playing with the lighting and moving the camera around and trying different angles in the hopes that something is gonna look really good. In my last video I actually filmed that really late at night. That was like 1130 so there was no natural lighting at all so I don't know if that looked better or worse but I'm just gonna keep trying this out until we can find a good angle so that's why I'm at a different angle as you know if you read the name of the video this is my November ipsy bag and I already peeked at what was in my bag because I hate surprises and I I just I'm really bad at surprises someone said they're gonna surprise me and I always figure out what it is or I always beg to know what it is so I'm just really bad at surprises so I already looked at what was inside online but I haven't tried anything on, so I'm just gonna still try things on the way I did in my last Ipsy video. Try things on, give you my first impressions of them. So we're just gonna hang out and do that. So let's open the bag. So the first thing in the bag is this card, but I don't really care about this card because it doesn't tell you how to use the products or anything, so. So first things first, this is the bag this month. It feels sort of squishy and foam like and I don't really love this bag it's like rock star themed and so there's like makeup with different constellations on it I don't really like gold so this is not my favorite bag in the world okay so the first thing in the bag is this skin Iceland solutions for stressed skin blemish dots with salicylic acid. So I actually redeemed this with my Ipsy points. You get points for reviewing products and for signing up and for referring people. So this is actually what I redeemed with my points. Apply patch directly onto blemish, push gently until it adheres to skin and leave on for several hours or overnight for best results. I'm obviously not gonna try this product right now because I don't have a couple of hours and I don't have all night right now to try it on but if this is really really great I will update you on how well this worked. So the next thing I see in the bag is this Hey Honey Good Morning Honey Silk Facial Serum all day moisturizing for all skin types. I've never tried a face serum before so I'm actually excited for this. Directions apply daily by itself or under your day or night cream. Excellent we use it under makeup providing a smooth and glossy appearance to your skin. So I'm already wearing makeup so I can't really apply this under my makeup but I will try it on the back of my hand. Oh it's so soft. It smells like something, but I'm not really sure what it smells like, but it's very soft. I'll leave this on my hand for the rest of the video, and if it starts to bother me or my hand falls off, then we'll know that it's a bad product. Just because something is bad for me or doesn't work for me doesn't mean I'm saying don't buy it. We all have different skin, and we all have different likes and dislikes, so... Okay, so this next product literally just fell out onto my lap, so I think this is the next one we're going to talk about. It is a... Thiatase... C-I-A-T-E, and the accent has an E on it. I don't know how to pronounce that. Liquid Velvet. So here it is. This is obviously not a full-size product. It's in the shade Diva. Okay, so it has one of those little sponge applicators, and let's just put it... Oh, wow. So it's really pigmented, and it kind of looks like it's gonna dry matte. Let's just go ahead and try this on. I want to let you know that I'm dumb and didn't bring a mirror out here. So I'm literally using the camera to see what I'm doing right now. Okay, so right off the bat, it's getting all over me for some reason. Okay, so here it is on and more or less just on my lips. It's a very classic red, very Taylor Swift. It doesn't seem like it's very drying yet. It obviously is transferring all over me. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a liquid lipstick or if it's a lip cream or anything like that. Oh wait, there's a liquid lipstick. If I just read the package, I would know. Anyway, I really like the color. I'm upset that it's getting all over me, but that might just be user error and not product error. The next thing in my bag is the Pore Professional Benefit Balm. I actually already own this and I don't 
think that it does anything for me. I put it on my pores before I put on makeup sometimes to try and minimize the pores right in here. And I just don't feel like it does anything. It's in a little tube in there. You get three milliliters. I'm not gonna open this. I'm probably just going to give this to somebody else. Apply this silky oil-free formula to minimize the appearance of pores and fine lines for smoother than smooth skin. This doesn't really work for me. Let me know if you've used this product in the past and if you really like it or if there's some trick to making it work, let me know down below. The next thing is this Formula X nail color. It's in a cute little black and white package. Okay, so this is what the bottle looks like. I would assume this is not a full size nail polish. It's in the shade Huntress. It kind of looks like a golden gray green color. Oh, it's a lot darker than I thought it was gonna be. Can you see, it's kind of it definitely has some metallic shine to it. Oh, it's blue. Well, that was surprising. Why can't I get this lid on? What's wrong with me? There we go. There we go. So it is actually a deep navy color with some green undertones and I maintain that there's still some shimmer in here as well. This actually looks a lot uglier in the bottle than it does on my finger. When I saw this online on like my Ipsy Glam Bag page, I was not excited about this because it looked like a green brown color, but this is actually a lot prettier than I thought it was, so yay for that. Okay, and then the last thing in my bag this month is Ico London Skinny Liquid Eyeliner. Line and define. When in doubt, wing it out. Okay, so it literally just looks like a skinny black liquid eyeliner. I have a bunch of liquid eyeliner pens like this, but this one claims to be precise, smudge proof, and pitch black. I have a mirror this time, so hopefully I don't mess it up as much as I messed up the lips. I haven't done liquid liner on my channel or a winged liner senior year of high school. All I wore was winged black eyeliner. I was obsessed and I couldn't leave the house without winged liner on. Okay, so it's definitely not the easiest winged eyeliner that I've ever applied, but Look, there's there's red lipstick all over me. Yeah, it's not the easiest winged eyeliner to apply ever. It does have a felt tip tip, and it doesn't bend at all, so you can't like wing it out really, really easily. I'll keep this around and I'll use it, but I don't like it as much as I prefer my L'Oreal black eyeliner pen, just as a test on if the lipstick has dried and if it's transfer proof. Not transfer proof, not transfer proof at all. Okay, so that is it for my Ipsy bag this month. I know these videos are short because they're just short. Let me know in the comments what you got in your bag and if you loved your bag, if you hated your bag, if we got similar things, if we got completely different stuff, let me know down below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye.